welcome back to my channel so for today's video as you can see I did a very gothic look and vampy and everything you want to call it dramatic just I, 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 I just love this look this is like my snatched look my go-to look when I want to look very 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 snatched and goth the way I want the way I love to be honest and I hope you really truly like this look with this video I hope you learned something new and I hope you like the look and you just getting ready for fall Halloween and all of those stuff that's really good because I really hate summer am I the only one? you wanna see how I did this look? bitch please keep on watching start by applying a brown eyeshadow this one is by Catrice and I'm applying on the crease to start building up my crease color and just having a transitional shade so the black eyeshadow will blend it uh, will blend much better on top of it you make it doesn't look as harsh and as unblended and it gets the black eyeshadow to get in a more beautiful place without getting uh, all with messed up and stuff. I'm going to use the All Natural uh, palette by Slick Makeup, and I'm using, of course, the black eye uh, eyeshadow, and I'm applying on the crease, starting building up the blackness, and on after building up all that color, I will apply a eye pencil, a black eye pencil, of course so the black eyeshadow will pop up much more and everything is going to look much seamless and more perfected here, here we go applying the black eye, eyeliner uh, eye pencil as an eyeshadow base this one is by H&M and of course the color it's black obviously as you can see <laughs> Right now I'm going to take again the black eyeshadow from the same palette and I'm going to start blending and meshing everything together so we don't have harsh lines and unblended edges and yeah, obviously, just making everything as perfect and as beautiful as possible. And you know, black eyeshadow is tricky sometimes. And now I'm going to use a NYX uh, eye pencil and this one is the in the color red. And I'm going back to my Catrice um, eyeshadow and I'm going to start applying it under the lower lash line and building up a very very smoky under lash line. As you can see I'm building up everything slowly and going back to my black eyeshadow and I'm going to start buffing it around the lash line of course as you can see and little by little brown going back to brown going back to the black going back to the brown I will build up the intensity and the blend blendability <laughs> and going back to, you see and going back to the same uh, brown eyeshadow and just blend everything together so it's a beautiful smoky eye and now I'm going to use this H&M uh, eyeshadow I'm going to use with my finger because with a brush it doesn't it doesn't show up anything using my finger is the best method for this application and look what it does it looks kind of wet shimmery glittery I don't know it just looks metallic and beautiful and now I'm going to use the sleek palette and this one I guess it's a the color white to highlight and now I'm going to use the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and by the way I'm going to leave all the products down below so if I mess up something here well you know where all the products are listed and I'm going to use some Doe Eyes Lashes by NYX and 
And now for lipstick, I'm using an eye pencil for lipstick because this eye pencil by Kiko, it's very, very, very creamy and very blendable and very, it's it just, it looks like a, a lip pencil. It's weird. Uh, you know, it just blends very well. Everything looks very vibrant and very black. And yeah, I really like this as a black lipstick. And now I'm going to use the same eyeshadow, pressed eyeshadow, uh, on my lips to look shiny and metallic and give something more different to the look. You finished watching? Great! Thank you so much if you came to this point of the video. I'm very happy that you watched all the video and I hope you really, really, truly liked the look. And it's been a very long time since I've been doing them, since I've done a look for my a makeup look for my channel. And I'm very proud of myself for finally doing it and not being a lazy hoe. Thank you so much for watching again. Like this video if you liked it. Comment down below whatever you want to comment about this look. You liked it, you're not, if you, I, you want me to do something else on this channel, some new ideas, new video ideas you want to see on this channel, I don't know, just tell something. If it's not like calling me names and stuff, that's okay. You can tell anything. You see all the links down below as my Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr, and all of those stuff. All of that stuff is down below, so you guys just check it out. Especially Instagram, because I will post all the photos of this makeup look right there. And yeah guys, thank you so much again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. 